Yo, what it do, guys? It is your boy, Leon Mookie here, and I'm back with another new part of What If Izuku Was the Son of Sun Wukong. This is part three. In the last part, I went over on how Izuku was training with his father, Wukong, as he wanted to improve his combat style and his fighting instincts instead of his godly power with finishing their training soon izuku and son met with a girl who was hanging around at the junkyard as well as her being kamori with as izuku and her are timid and basically shy around new people mostly izuku around girls wukong had the crazy idea of setting him up setting his son up with her as well to help him get over his well, nervousness around girls as it somewhat worked as they became close friends with however soon after she he also brought a fr the daughter of a, of a close friend from the united states over to stay with them as her name being pony sunatori with soon he's pony actually getting to know izuku as he helped her out getting used to japan as Izuku has two new friends in his life now. But however, with Sun, he soon meets somebody, an old acquaintance at an old ramen stall, as this being the number one hero of Japan, All Might. So, with that said, let's get into this show, you guys. As back at the ramen stall, with both, with both figures eating different types of ramen, Wukong gets stats of a well, fully meat ramen and All Might, or rather, Toshinori gets that of a beet cut ramen bowl as the two continue eating their ramen with Wukong, with Sun just, well, doing what he does best, basically eating as much as he wants as he, also, he, he soon finishes first bowl and then asks for seconds with Toshinori couldn't help but get somewhat so every time that they always meet up for just to see each other and go to food stalls he could, he's always surprised on how much Wukong can basically put down with soon Toshi saying well man no matter how many times I see you you always can scarf things down quite a bit can you son with soon Wukong finishing his second bowl as he's about to order for his third one saying, well, of course I can. <laughs> After all, a god like me has barely has any metabolism whatsoever. So base, I can scarf down as much as I want and as much as I feel like it as well. As he says this with, with, with all the ease and without any, well, remorse whatsoever, with Toshi can up and say, it's reasons like that is why I'm jealous. With soon, he clears his throat, but soon saying, any rate, besides wanting to see how you're doing, and, see, and especially since you basically ran away from the cops again, I need to ask, how are you, how is your son doing? With soon getting his third bowl, he was about to chow down before hearing that. But soon saying, Izuku, doing great as always. Good kid, amazing. Still dreams of becoming a hero. Tries to be cocky like me, but can't really make it work. But he does. But I'm glad that he does have confidence in himself now. Back then, timid, shy, and sweet, and pretty nervous kid back then. But st still pretty bad around girls. Hey, let you know, I tried setting him up with two girls that are planning on going to UA together. One became his. Pr pretty fast friend after a couple months and the other is a girl is the daughter of an old friend from the US so I hope that this would actually help Izuku be more confident around those of the opposite sex to be honest as he says this thinking that his plan is foolproof as Toshinori looks at the well va the valiant fighting Buddha God with saying are you trying to ship your son with multiple women are you trying to give your son a harem by any chance? With Sud, Wukong couldn't help but say, what? Nah, nah, nah. But maybe, 
Possibly. Totally yes. With Toshinori couldn't help but sigh at this, with Soon saying, Ugh, well, any rate. I, but there was also something else I wanted to ask. It's about with Soon, son Finn actually stopped eating his ramen before saying, It's about one for all. How far, how much limit do you have left, Toshi? With Soon, Toshinori saying, Three hours. I can only, I can use my powers for three hours and that's it. Ever since I got this wound, well, let's just say it's not easy anymore. But I still, I still have one for all. I still haven't passed it down just yet. With soon, son couldn't help but stretch his arms and place and place them behind his head saying, well, 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 I thought for sure that you would choose Sir Nidai's candidate to be your successor and all. Hearing this, all Toshi can about say, I'm considering it. I still haven't found a successor of my own yet, but I don't want to just force this onto young Togeda just yet. And remember, and also, I need to be the one to choose who I believe is worthy of one, of one for all. Just like how my, just like how my mentor, my master, Nanashimura did to me. Choose a quirkless kid like myself to have one of the most powerful quirks of all time and soon became the symbol of peace and defeated all for one. And now my time is running out. With hearing this, Sun couldn't remove his arms from his head before placing them two in his pants pockets before saying, uh, you're overthinking things. Saying, I am? You all are, seriously. You've done your you've done your job. This you've became the symbol of peace. You continue you continue doing your job as always. You're do and you defeated all for one. You've done the thing that many of the past one for all users have dreamt of doing for years, but now it's finally done. You could finally rest easy now. There's no need to continue being the symbol of peace or forcing somebody else to become the symbol of peace. All you need to do is just kick back, relax, and just pass it on to somebody who you believe would be a great hero. There's no need to force all that responsibility onto somebody else who doesn't even want it just yet. And besides, didn't you say you plan on becoming a teacher for, well, class for UA? You said you plan on becoming a teacher for both the first years, second years, and third years when you got the time for the hero courses. With hearing, hearing this, so All Might couldn't help but say, yes, I did. I want to see if I can find the proper successor besides just young Togeda, after all. And if I hadn't seen that your son is going, I thought that maybe with soon son basically saying, not a chance with then hearing this, as the tone in Wukong's voice felt somewhat chilling and thor and that uh and has that of authority, the very authority of a god, with then soon Toshi saying, but look, Izuku's a good kid. And he's train and he's training to become a hero. He doesn't need the expectations of becoming some kind of grand grand symbol of peace and continuing that cycle of being the number one hero constantly. That's not needed for a kid like him. All he wants to do is to become a hero, save lives, protect the innocent, and live by your words, your example of what it truly means to be a hero, saving people, protecting others, no ma even if it costs, a per costs them at their lives. That's the very thing I want to prevent Izuku from doing. With hearing this, Satoshi can say, I'm, I'm sorry, son. With son soon saying, eh, don't worry about it, Yagi. After all, you were just, think, you were just thinking, that's all. And hey, I'm not, if Izuku does want to become your, become your successor, then let him be it. I'm not going to stop him. Even though I would be against it, I'm not going to basically force my son not to choose the opportunity of a lifetime 
for somebody who is literally your biggest fan with then hearing this soon Toshi can up and say I guess so I guess so I guess the reason I brought him up is because I met him about a couple about many months ago during an incident a sledge villain basically stole some cash from that of a from that of a store so I decided to try and stop him but when I got there he showed up instead he stopped the robbery and everything so, and that's why with Sue saying, I see, I see. Because he was the one who stopped the villain and was able to, well, defeat him and incapacitate, incapacitate him as well. You believe that he is the perfect one to be your successor. Not only that, he also asked for an autograph, did he not? With saying, uh, yeah, he did. How did you? He showed me it. That kid, seriously, I remember him even saying that it was going to be a family heirloom to pass down to even his grandkids if he gets lucky to have one, that's for sure. With hearing this, All Might saying, really? I thought he was joking. With soon, Wukong couldn't help but look at Toshi saying, seriously, that no chance in hell. Like I said, he's one hell of a super fan of yours. With then hearing this, Toshi couldn't help but laugh. With soon, son's basically getting up from the stool and paying for his, well, four bowls of, of mega meat ramen. With soon saying, thanks for, the, thanks for the ramen, old man, as always. With saying, thanks for being my best customer, Sun Wukong. With soon, Toshi. But then Sun can help but scratch the back of his head saying, try to keep it down. Can't let people know know that it's me after all. Saying, sure, sure. As the ramen chef went back to continuing making ramen, with Su Wukong looked back at Toshi saying, look, if you want to choose Izuku, go for it. However, he, I, he has to be the one to choose it. If he, if he declines, he declines. And if you want to find somebody else, find somebody else. Like I said, Sir Night I may hate my guts, but he's not a bad, but the person he chose most likely isn't a bad choice and most likely does live up to your expectations on what it truly means to be a hero. After all, he is a super fan just like my son, after all. Hearing this from son, Toshi couldn't help but say, I'll take your words to heart. I'll consider it. Thank you, Wukong. Saying, anytime. Well, I better get going. Don't want to worry Inko after all. So, catch you later. Saying this, he soon puts his, his fist in front of Toshinori's face. As then, Toshinori gives Sun, gives Sun a fist bump with saying, catch you later. With soon, he creates his Nimbus Cloud and then flies up into the air with soon Toshinori saying, ah, how the hell did I end up becoming friends with a Chinese god? Sometimes I think my life is even stranger than you think. With then the ramen chef in saying, honestly, I don't even know how my stall ends up being so popular that both the number one hero and a freaking Chinese god ended up becoming my best customers. But I'm not complaining after all. Business is good, to be fair. With then Toshi couldn't help but smile, thinking, I guess that's just what life gives us. Just some crazy stuff that happens in our lives. With as one month has finally passed by, as it's now time for the UA entrance exam, with Izuku and Pony standing side by side together with Su. Izuku saying, um, you gonna be okay, Pony? By yourself, I mean. As the blonde-haired, horn cork user con looks at Izuku and gives him that of a cheerful and kind-hearted smile, saying, don't worry, I'll be fine, I Izu. Trust me. And besides, I won't be taking the practical portion, just the written portion, since I did get in by foreign exchange, after all. With then Izuku saying, yeah. 
guess that's right. But still, you sure you'll be fine? It's like, you worry too much. Trust me, I'll be good. With then, Izuku saying, all right, well, good luck. With Sue, he hears somebody saying, saying thing goes for you, gotcha on, good luck. As Izuku having that of a smug smile, at having that of, that of, well, confidence and a touch of spite behind it. As Pony looks behind, seeing what Izuku is looking at, as she soon noticed the ashen blonde with soon he's saying, whatever, Deku, just don't get in my way. With soon Pony moves out of the way for Bakugo. With then she's saying, uh, is he, I know, I thought he was always acting like that as a joke, but is he always like that towards you? Saying only towards me. He's arrogant and kind of full of himself to everyone else because everyone else has all, back then when we were kids, everyone always gave him praise for his amazing and powerful quirk. But once I got my quirk, that praise soon faded and he always saw me as that of a faded rival. Little did he know, that rivalry was kind of pointless after all. Not only that, there's also as he soon placed his hand on his forehead, feeling the golden headband behind his messy green hair, with soon, as he remembers a time when they were still friends, but everything changed on that fateful day, with soon, Izuku basically shakes his head saying, uh, no worries, but I'll be fine. We'll all be fine and we're all gonna pass. Hopefully, Komori is here too, as she saying, as soon Pony saying, Komori, isn't that the girl that all, that you're also friends with? With Izuku soon blushing, saying, Yeah, friends too, with with you and hers. Well, as Izuku's face begins turning quite red, with soon Pony notices, saying, Are you okay, Izuku? You're blushing pretty hard. And she has that of a, well, mischievous and also somewhat seductive look in her eyes. With soon Izuku saying, ah, it's nothing, it's nothing. We should get going, uh, really. As he soon goes ahead of her. But then Pony couldn't help but giggle a little bit. As Izuku keeps on moving while his face is still pretty flushed. With then he soon bumps into somebody as then he accidentally knocks them down saying, oh, I'm so sorry. I really mean, I didn't mean to. With soon he bumps into a girl with that of, well, sh shoulder length black hair. And she has that of a blank look on her face. With soon she's saying, no problems. With Su as Izuku begins blushing, as even though she has that of a blank look, she looks pretty cute. To be fair, with then she stands back up as she soon dusts herself off with suit. Isaac saying, uh, are you OK? I didn't. Did I saying I said it's OK. No need to worry. Any rate, I better get going. Good luck with suit. She walks off as then Izuku began still Still having that of a permanent blush on his face. As soon, Pony, Pony looks ahead saying, Huh? Oh, uh, no. did you accidentally run into her, Izu? Wait, Sue, Izu saying, uh, It was an accident. I didn't mean to. I mean, I promise. As, he, as his face is still pretty red alongside his tail as well. As Izuku couldn't help but tr cover his face. With then Pony couldn't help but continue giggling and laughing at Izuku as the two kept on getting the attention of everybody else around them as well. After heading to one of one of the rooms for that of the written portion of the exam, Izuku did pretty well for himself actually, as he did focus a lot on training and even training by himself. With however, he still found the time to study and keep himself well memorized and well mentally active for the 
for the for the exam for the written portion of the entrance exam. As for with soon he heads into that of a huge auditorium with multiple seats and a couple and down below being that of a small podium with then Izuku heading to a couple of seats with then he's sitting next is soon he hears a voice saying oh hey Midoriya right you're that guy from a couple months ago right with then Izuku's eyes widen as he realized that he's sitting next to Mina Ashido and say uh Ashido hey uh right that was your name with Suit saying yep that's my name <laughs> well I guess it means that we're both going to you or applying for UA together with Suit Izuki saying yeah guess you are <laughs> as he's getting quite nervous as he's sitting right next to a girl especially a girl he hasn't seen in about a couple months or so with then he he's like saying so what made you apply for ua with soon mina basically putting her arm raising her arms up and putting behind her back as it soon basically pops up her chest a little bit making izuku blush even more as he soon turns away with then she's saying I chose it because it's a good school after all. And not only that, a friend of mine from my junior high school is also applying for UA too. So I thought, why not? With then Izuku couldn't help but say, so that's your reason? But saying, yeah, but I don't mind applying for any hero school. As long as I go to a hero school, become a pro, help those in need and look cool doing it, then so be it. I'm not too picky. That's all. With hearing this, Izuku couldn't help but be shocked and surprised and also admire Mina's, well, determination for wanting to be a hero, not really caring on what's, what kind of hero school she goes to. As soon the lights begin to dim, it's then a spotlight goes to the small podium uh, at the at below of the auditorium hall with is then a figure wearing that of a black a black leather uniform with that and looking like he has a speaker around his neck with that of slick back spiky blonde hair and wearing that of orange aviator sunglasses as this being the pro hero present Mike as Izuku sees that of the sound hero he Izuku couldn't help but get excited as seeing him as he mentions that he also he listens to his radio show every time every time he gets a chance with soon mina can up and say wow you're quite the fanboy aren't you midoriya within izuku blushing saying oh sorry i didn't mean is is it saying nah that ain't kind of weird it'd be weird if you weren't such a big fanboy after all you just got that air about you with izuku blushing still Still, with soon, President Mike begin explaining that of the entry of the practical portion of the entrance exam, as there will be that of three robots. Each robot is basically numbered by that of points from one pointer, two pointer, and three pointers. The more points that you gain, the more you you have a chance to get into UA. As he, as President Mike begin also begin explaining that. Many people will be separated to different zones. Within hearing this, Izuku realized that his card is different from that of Mina's, saying, Huh, I guess it is different. I guess it has to be because they don't want us working with people that we're already familiar with or close or close to as well. And that also makes it up we have to if we also don't have a quirk that's basically made for combat entirely. Which means those whose quirks weren't made to fight have to work with those who are and possibly work together. But I doubt as he looks around, as he begins feeling the aura and that of the emotions of the others, of all the participants, some feeling cocky, some feeling nervous, and some feeling like they have nothing to worry about whatsoever. As Sue. As then, Izuku realized that to some, 
in this day and age, pro, people who want to become pro heroes only care more about reaching the top and becoming and having that of fame and glory. Simple as that. They don't really care about helping those who truly are in need, after all. With then hearing this, Mina was caught off guard hearing that from Izuku, as she thought that he was just that of a, well, shy simon role with that of a pretty unique and powerful quirk, but in reali but realized that he that he thinks things pretty deeply, things that she never really thought of. So a couple seconds later, as a boy, a tall boy with wearing glasses and that of navy blue hair, at, I'll stand, actually asked a question as he didn't, as on the sheet that it doesn't show that of the robot that's on the screen, that being the fourth robot, as he soon feels disappointed that a school of UA's prestigious would basically keep such information out of this with soon. He points at Izuku as he sees that he is a couple floors above him, but way down to the side as Izuku realized, wait, how the hell is he able to hear me? Does he have some kind of super hearing quirk? As then the, bo the tall boy begins to berate Izuku as saying that he's been talking this entire time. And if he's not going to take this seriously, then he tells him to leave. Within hearing this, Mino was about to say something. However, Izuku sticks his arm out as soon he's saying, it's none of your business. And who says that I'm not taking this seriously? After all, you, everyone has their own ways of preparing for things after all. So with hearing that, soon Ida having that of a glare, but, also, but actually sells down for a bit and soon President Mike saying, okay, okay, let's get back on track. As for your answer, caller, the, the fourth robot is basically an obstacle. It's worth no points. I mean, sure, you could beat it if you like, but you wouldn't gain anything from it. Just letting you know. As President Mike says this, Izuku could hear the, well, hidden, hidden intent behind, the vo behind his voice when he says that with as he wants to know if other people heard that ex as well but probably not if then soon president mike sank so with all that said i hope you all know what you got to do and not only that i expect you all to give it your all so go beyond plus ultra as president mike says this a few of the Applicants began to get excited and pumped up as well. Soon, a couple, couple minutes later, after getting on his, well, on his, tra on his track clothes, as he soon, stre as Izuku is stretching, with s even stretching his tail as well, with soon thinking, huh, doesn't look like I'm not going to be working with anyone. Doesn't look like I'm going to be working with e with Komori or Ashido as well. So it looks like I'm on my own. Well, it doesn't really matter. After all, I can handle myself whatsoever. With soon, Izuku noticed the girl that he bumped into this morning as he soon realized that she still has that of a blank expression on her face. However, she looks like she has, she looks like she has pouches around her, around her waist with and she looking around with then Izuku saying I'll talk to her when she had when she's got some time and she can relax that's all I shouldn't get involved just yet with soon Izuku pulling pulling something out of his hair as it being a small compact version of his Ryujugu bang as it soon begins to extend with then he's swinging it around testing it out a little bit before getting ready with soon a, a couple of well of applicants look around seeing Izuku with some at all well some thinking that he's going to be a threat while a few believing that he's just showing off however as for the black haired girl from earlier she couldn't help but be some having that be at all at 
Izuku's, Izuku's staff. As she still has a blank look on her face, but her eyes having that of surprise and shock and awe at that as well. With then soon, President Mike saying, All right, I hope you're all ready because it's now time to begin. With soon saying that, the doors begin to slide open onto that of the fake city. With many of the applicants soon rushing towards the city trying to gain as many points as they can. As for Izuku, he soon, he soon extends the Ryujuku bang, and then as he soon spins it around, he soon and soon brings it down, as he soon gathers a bunch of clouds as before, as then he cre as he creates his cloud hopper Nimbus. As he soon jumps onto it, and he rushes towards the city as well, as he spins his staff saying, here I come. As then he moves at blinding speeds with soon seeing a person that was about to destroy a two point robot. So Izuku extends his Ryujuku bang, piercing it right through the head without even breaking a sweat. With soon he, he flies over the debris before soon jumping down from the nim from his nimbus and then extends his staff once again destroying other robots while sw swinging them and sweeping them off the ground before piercing them as well as he destroys at least that of three three pointers two one pointers and one two pointer with then thinking, all right, keep this up and I'll be able to handle myself easily. As he soon backflips back onto the Nimbus, flying to another area where he can destroy more robots. But in the monitor room, checking out every single one of the practical portion areas of the entrance exam. With men as these being the faculty and teachers of UA. With... Some being quite impressed with the skills that they're doing, with some using reconnaissance and stealth to take out robots, while some actually finding out that they can work together to take out as many robots as they can. However, they're more shocked and surprised seeing that a Bakugo basically obliterating robots without even a second thought, basically destroying as many as he can without with no with, with relentless force. However, what truly stands out the most as well is Izuku, as they see that he's basically flying around on a cloud using a staff, destroying each and every one of the robots quick and precise without even wasting any e exhausting energy, as even though he's doing flips and everything like that, it seems like he still has enough energy to keep going as All Might in the monitor room seeing the entrance exam saying that's him the same boy from a couple months ago and he it looks like he really is he really is wukong's son <laughs> izuku midoriya is it well looks like you have great potential after all as all might is basically impressed with the boy's strength skill and technique however Another one in the monster room is not, is actually pretty much shocked, surprised, and at disbelief as he looks at Izuku as he soon sees that the boy reminds him of an old friend, a friend that he feels like he let down with then a soft spoken voice as it coming from that of a, well, chimera looking person with soon is saying that there but when it comes to moments like this it's when a tr person's true character shows in the end with soon all might sw lifting up a glass lid with soon pressing a red button back at the pra at the practical portion test with izuku destroying at least another three pointer and two pointer all at once with soon him basically catching his breath saying, nice, nice, that takes care of that. Eh, adding up the points I have now, I think I'm good. I'm not trying to get the highest score or anything like that. 
And I just want to get into UA. Simple as that. As he soon puts his Ryujigu bang on his shoulders. As soon he's about to head back to the exit. But soon he begins to hear something. As soon he begins to feel the ground shaking. As then Izuku and realizing, oh shit. What if soon he noticed that the there was a, lo- a dark shadow looming all over, not just him, but also all the other participants as well for the exam. As soon he begins hearing screaming of people running away as it being from the zero point robot. With then he's saying, wow, that thing is huge. They weren't kidding on making it an obstacle. I mean, best people that can probably take it down are those with overpowered quirks or most likely those with that of, well, gigantification quirks as well. But even so, it's not worth it as he still had, as he still has his Ryujigu bang on his shoulders and was just heading back and was about to head back to the exit. But soon he hearing somebody saying, please, someone help as the voice was really quiet, but they were pleading. As then he realized that it was a girl that was trying to run away from the zero pointer as she's limping from to there, as it looks like her ankle has been sprained. Is it being the same girl that he ran into? The same black haired girl with the dull expression. As she doesn't have that of the same dull dull and blank expression. She now looks like she's in pain as she's limping because she has that of a broke, of a sprained leg. With soon, Izuki noticed this and realized, what the, why, why isn't anyone else trying to save her? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll do it too, but come on, you guys are trying to train to become heroes. Not only that, what about all the proctors? Aren't they trying to? With then Izuku saying, I get it now. This is the moment, the moment where it were to show your true colors, to show if you are a true hero among heroes. <laughs> Why the hell did I not notice that until now? I guess I got no choice then. With soon, he preparing his Ryujugu bang, he soon rushes as fast as he can towards the girl with the, as passing right past the blue net guy. He doesn't even look, he doesn't even t- turn back. However, the boy does look at Izuku as he's shocked and surprised that he's going back with then he arrives right in front of the girl. But soon he offers a hand saying, need a lift? With soon she was confused, but she decides to grab on to Izuku's hand as she gets on that of the, of his nimbus. With soon heading back towards the or towards back the entrance, with passing toward uh, many of the partici- of the other participants. With soon uh, as he arrives, everybody was shocked and surprised, especially seeing the cloud. With one of them saying, "Hey." I seen that guy. He he's been right on that cloud the entire time. Saying, yeah. Not only that, that staff. Is it some kind of support device or something? Because I could see extending so many times. So many times. Saying, wait. Is it just me or does that guy remind me? Remind you of the vigilante, the Monkey King? Where saying, wait. Seriously? You really think? He, yeah, he kind of does. Saying you, you may you think he may be the Monkey King or possibly related to him. Saying, hey, just because somebody has similar quirks doesn't mean that they're really related. And besides, also, he looks like he has a girl on, on his cloud. With soon, Izuku began blushing, saying, um, you all right? Saying, as she soon nods, before saying, thank you, thank you for saving me. With then. Izuku basically blushing, saying, nah, it's no problems, no problems. Just, 
do it. After all, it's a hero's job to save people, even if they don't ask for help after all. But however, I could tell you really needed help. You were really in trouble. So I just couldn't sit by and just do nothing. What if then she could help but blush at this? What if soon she actually the blush fades while still having that of the, well, bland and expressionless face before nodding once again as she soon gets off of Izuku's nimbus as she soon feels still feels pain from the from her sprained ankle with soon an elderly woman saying my 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 I have to say many of you did so well kudos for everyone even if you didn't make it entirely I think you all are truly deserving of wanting to become great pro heroes. Especially you, Sunny, as she soon looks at Izuku, saying, oh, uh, it's not a problem. No biggie whatsoever. It's just a common decency to try and help people. That's all, right? With soon she's saying, that is true. A true signs of a person being a great hero. Here you go, Sunny. As she soon gives Izuku some candy, is saying, huh, thanks. Um, miss, who are we soon getting a better look at her as she realized, holy crap, your, your, your recovery girl, the youthful heroine, with one of them saying, who? Never heard of her. Is she famous or something? But then a boy with blonde hair, ha ha looking like having sparkles across his face, and wearing that of a, well, flamboyant outfit, saying she's the reason on why UA can have such, well, crazy exams like this. Her quirk is basically able to heal any type of injury and wounds, almost like they never happened before, with Sue saying, well, it looks like somebody knows me. Well, two people, it seems, but it's, but sometimes my quirk, but my quirk doesn't heal everything. After all, it takes a person's own vitality to actually heal them, especially their stamina. With soon, she kisses the bla black haired girl. With soon, her ankle begins to no longer feel pain as she soon begins able to step on it without any repercussions, saying, I, I'm healed. Thank you, Miss Recovery Girl. As she bows her head, saying, no need, dearie. I was just doing my job. But you should probably go easy. After all, you should be feeling tired, am I right? With soon, she's saying, I guess so. I do feel a little bit woozy, that's all. But thank you. With soon, she's saying, anyone else that needs any healing? I'll be here all day. If any of you who do not, you should probably head back to the bus and get on your clothes so you can head back home. Letting you all know, it'll be take time until you get your get your letters and what if you'll be accepted into UA. As she says this in a kind and in kind and caring voice, especially what you would probably hear from that of a grandmother. With soon music saying, I can tell she cares a lot, but I feel like if I get hurt a lot, she can basically want to kill the hell out of me. I should probably not get on our bad side if I get accepted to UA. <laughs> That's only if I get accepted, though. With suit, she, somebody saying you. With then looking at the same bl blue-haired boy saying, "Huh? Oh, yeah. What is it?" With soon saying, "You, you saved that girl. Why?" Saying, "Why would I?" Saying, "Did you know that you could have gotten more points?" If you decided to fight back, why, why waste time with saying, do I need a reason to save somebody? Seriously, if I need a reason to save somebody, then that's not even, a, then that's not, that doesn't make me a hero. It just makes me somebody who's just a civil servant. And I don't, do, and I don't do that. A hero's job is to protect others, save others, even if they don't ask for it. And honestly, the way I looked on her face, as he looks at Yui, as she looks like she's about to walk off. 
but looks back at Izuku with a small blush on her face before turning around and heading back to the gate. As Izuku saying, and she needed help. Simple as that. With then the, the blue haired boy can help but say, I see, I see. And if that's the case, then you are truly worthy to be called a hero. With saying, huh? Just like that. Saying, yes, just like that. I believe it. Honestly, if this wasn't an exam, I would have done what soon. He's, but then saying, no, even if it was an exam, I still should have done it. I'm, I feel like I shouldn't be called a hero or try to even become a hero because of that. With hearing this, soon saying, keep beating yourself up about it. It actually helps. Saying, huh? Sometimes when you feel like you've made a mistake, you need to improve. When you feel like you've done something wrong, you need to make sure that it doesn't happen again. However, don't beat yourself up to a point where you feel like you don't earn, like you don't deserve it. Even the, just learn from your mistakes. Learn from the actions you didn't take and take and, and become something more. Become something greater in the future. Become the hero that you want to be. Uh, what's your name? Saying, uh, Tanya Ida. Saying, all right, Tanya Ida. Become the hero that you want to be. From this, from this moment on, learn from those mistakes and don't judge people just by how they look or how they act because, they're at, because their other actions speak louder than their small ones. With soon saying this, the Ryujigu Bang D extends as he soon puts it back into his tracks in his training clothes pocket. And then he gets off his Nimbus as it soon begins. As the, as the floating cloud soon dissipates. But soon saying, well, catch you later, hopefully. With then patting him on the back and then heading back to the gate. But soon Izuku thinking, I wonder, I wonder how Ashido, Komori, and Pony was in Pony did. I hope they did great to get into UA. Cause I really want to see them again. Hopefully. With that, Izuku couldn't help but have that of a blush on his face. But this time it was not out of embarrassment, but it was out of genuine want. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me you guys what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to read them. Also, how do you guys like this part? I felt like focusing more on the relationship between All Might and, well, Sun Wukong in the early half, and then focus on the entrance exam in the later. So yeah, if you guys want me to do more of, well, diff of how Sun Wukong is friends with All Might, I would love to, I would probably try my best to get, to make it better. At any rate, if you guys like this, please sub like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification to keep up to date with my videos when I upload on the channel. Also, check out my Discord, gaming channel, side channel, and Patreon. All link in the description below. So, with all that said, this is Yamoki signing out. Later, guys, and I hope you all take care. Take it away, Shiro. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you liked Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one and if you want to see more of this click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist if you still haven't subscribed do so in the center with that said i hope to see you again on my love's channel bye